So let me go ahead and talk about what distinguishes a little bit about me from the rest because from a, a theology standpoint, I am not that inclined to be a religious person. However, I can give you the sense that I am faith-based. I was born into a Muslim family. I grew up in a Christian church, and I am married to a Hindu. <laughs> and I've been married now for 37 years. So you talk about faith-based, I have it in my home. I live every day this aspect of religion and culture. So let me answer the question, and given that, I know most of you, and I took a look at it, most of you are HR-based folks, and I was guided by you to say that you are getting credits, and we should answer the question more specifically because you will not get your credits for your HR <laughs> designation. So here it is. <laughs> so as it relates, when you talk about uh, differences between culture and religion, they are not indistinguishable, and how are they different? I would start out by saying that culture relates to the modes of personal interaction as a way of bonding with society and creating an identical community. Religion, on the other hand, has the higher aim of pleasing the creator and the purpose of attaining a better afterlife. In both culture and religion, some of the key elements are language, food, personal attire, literature, music, and the arts, etc. And I will touch on each one of these. In culture, these elements are used to create a specific, distinct society. So a specific language is adopted, certain foods or their manner of cooking becomes traditional, as do certain types of clothing. Literature and the arts are reflections of the culture and are useful in adding more meaning and depth to the culture. Religion, on the other hand, does not adopt any particular language, food, attire, or arts. But it may use a specific language as a method of teaching or for prayers. For example, Latin in certain churches, Sanskrit in some temples, or Arabic in Islam. In the same way, it does not attach itself to any food, but some special foods may become associated with rituals. For example, unleavened bread or dates. Attire is also not adopted, except that some religions may call for modest dressing. And the interpretation of that, as we have seen, is something that leads to heated debates violence, etc. When it comes to literature, music, and arts, these are only used as a way of exalting the creator. When cultural traditions and rituals are handed down from one generation to the next, quite often the original rationale is forgotten along the way. But the practice continues, and as it continues, it becomes a way for people to feel a sense of belonging to their geographical region, or for a migrant group to hark back with nostalgia to the land and peoples of their origin. By practicing their cultural traditions, the goal of every group, of every group is to pass them along to their offsprings with the hope of perpetuating the connection to their history. In religion, the beliefs and practices are perpetuated through prescribed teachings to new generations or to new converts <coughs> to that faith. And the main goal is to steer believers towards a path of salvation of the soul and thereby a better afterlife. Occasionally, culture and religion intersect in very interesting ways. The best manifestation of culture and religion is when they intersect at the goal of the betterment of humanity. For instance, in many cultures, sharing is considered a good way of socially interacting with your neighbors, while in many religions, sharing is prescribed for the good of the soul. For example, in Islam, a Muslim is expected to give zakat or charity for the purification of the soul 
and of our worldly position, possessions. The zakat is to, be paid, is to be paid towards the welfare of those who are very poor and vulnerable. It is therefore a very useful societal tool as it, as it compels those who have to think of the have-nots among them and to help them. You know, and for example, where I belong as a chair for IDRF, where we do work, so zakat is used to provide food, clothing, and all kinds of aid, if aid to help destitute people, orphans, and widows. But I take my pause. Thank you. Thank you.